Okie dokie. One more example for this one. We have 150 to spend on pizza and soda. Pizzas cost 1680. Soda costs 110. So we imagine we're not buying any sodas and we're only buying pizza with $150. So we take $150 divided by 1680 to find out how many pizzas we can buy if we weren't buying soda. So we do 150 over 1680. 150 over 16.8, and we get about 8.9. I'll just say 8.9. So go back, say about 8.9. Again, this is the number of pizzas we can buy if we weren't buying soda. That's pretty good. So then we say, okay, well, how many sodas can we buy if we are not buying pizza? So we're getting rid of 1680, focusing on the 110. So we do 150 divided by 1.1 1 .1 or 110, and we're trying to find out how many sodas we can buy. 150, let's clear that, 150 over 1.1. 1 .1. Oh boy, um, 150 over 1.1, 1 .1, we get about 136. So we can buy 136 sodas, that's pretty good. Okay, so again, what we're looking for is the pizza axis, or sorry, the pizza uh, intercept to be 8.9, while the soda intercept will be 136. So if we're looking at our graphs, the only option that has um, the line crossing the pizza axis at 8.9 and the soda axis at 136, 136-ish, 8.9-ish, that would be option B. Bring out our eraser, and we have option B as our answer.